<clears throat> Hi, my name is Nas. I want to explain to you about the three different systems that are available on the market for redoing a roof over a commercial roof. First of all, you get the TPO type of uh, membrane, which is a white membrane and it's a vinyl or uh, a PVC type of material. Uh, it's called a single ply membrane. Then you get the EPDM. Let me show you the EPDM right at the bottom. Andre, you want to? This is the EPDM membrane, and uh, it's also a single ply membrane, like an inner tube of a car. You can see it stretches like that. And then you get another uh, single ply membrane, which is the modified bitumen membrane, like this one. This is a modified asphalt, and it becomes rubber. The three systems are all called single ply membranes, and they all have a different technique of installation. Uh, TPO needs to be heat welded on the seams, and you need to have a, a, a surface that is fairly flat and smooth before you install it. And the same with the EPDM. EPDM is very thin, and hold that side, Andre. And also, uh, it's a single ply membrane, and it has to be installed over a very smooth surface, and it's a glue down process. That means contact cement. You add contact cement on this side and the other side and you glue them together and that way that's how the seams are done. Uh, this is how easy you can penetrate through a, a EPDM. I can, hold it there. You see the knife? It goes just like that. Easy. Modified bitumen is a thicker membrane and it's, it can be installed over almost any surface. A rough surface, it's not necessarily, has to be smooth. What makes this such a better system or a better membrane is you can hardly uh, get through the membrane. That's how hard it is to get through this membrane. I can barely get my knife through there. I have to put a lot of pressure in it. Now, the way what we do is we had gone a step further. We installed the modified bitumen membrane over another membrane on top of a base paper. I'm going to explain this to you, but we call it a two-ply system. A two-ply system is by far the best roofing system out there. There's nothing that can come close to it. All these single-ply membranes, even the modified by itself, they give a guarantee of 12 to 15 years. That's what the life expectancy is. That's not enough for a commercial roof. If you have a commercial building, you don't want to replace a roof every 12, 15 years. The system what we have is a two-ply system. Let me, I'm going to just explain to you. Here we're busy doing a roof over the stone here. And you can see the stone. We smooth out the stone like this. And then we add a fiber liner, fiberglass liner. This is a fiberglass liner that can go over the stone. You can see the stones doesn't come through, doesn't penetrate through. That is to give it stiffness to the roof and make it rig rig like a rigid roof. After we install the fiber uh, uh, liner, then we install a single ply self-adhering membrane. You can see this is sticking to this base. It's starting to stick there, see there? This is sticking to the base. And after we installed that fiber liner and then this base, we then torch down our membrane, the, the final layer, on top of this uh, self-adhering base. By the time you're done, it becomes a very thick roof and this system can be installed over any type of roof any surface without having to strip the cost of stripping an entire roof and it will last you guaranteed 30 to 40 years easily no questions about it this is what it looks like <clears throat> look how thick it is i don't know if you can see this can you zoom into this on uh, eric let me get the epdm can you see the two difference there this is the difference in thickness. Can you see it? And 
this two-ply system, you can do a modified a single-ply system. We don't recommend that. It's still a single-ply roof. But once you go to a, a two-ply system with a modified, you cannot do it with EPDM, you cannot do it with TPO, that white um, uh, vinyl type of roof. But you can do it with a modified. You can do two-ply system with a modified, and you, you have the best system out there. Nothing can beat it. So I explained to you about the two-ply the two system. So we went over an original built-up roof. This is the old hot tar built-up roof, hot and, uh, tar and paper. And it started cracking, and, and the owners of this building wanted to re-roof, and so we went over the hot tar. This is a two-ply system. There's the first membrane, and there's the second membrane. I cannot get it apart. It's, it's stuck to it. The, the first membrane sticks to the hot tar, and then the next one we torch on is to this. It sticks to this. It's indestructible. Then you can look, pan over this. This is how it looks like. We went over here. This area has stone underneath here. We went over the stone area. And you can see we're still in the process. We're almost done. This is the, the membrane, the torch down, and this is the, uh, the, the second base here, the self-adhering base. And then we have the fiber liner, fiberglass liner, and this is the stone here. We almost complete with this roof. And this roof will outlast any other system out there. I don't care which one you bring to me, the TPO, the EPDM, they cannot last as long as this roof would last. This will last 30 to, and I'm, I'm sure it's gonna go to 50 years. This is how good this type of roof is. And leaks, no way, it can never leak. Even if they don't, the whole thing about single ply membranes is technique. TPO has a certain technique, the heat weld, and so it has EPDM has certain techniques, but the glue on the EPDMs do fail after three or five years or 10 years. That contact cement, it fails in the heat. Both of the TPO and the EPDM are not UV protected. They don't have the protection. With the modified, it has the granular surface that has UV protection. It's double the thickness. Then we added another layer. It makes it three or four times thicker than any other single ply membrane. No UV can destroy it, destroy it. And that's the best system out there, bar none.